Hello everyone and welcome to this video. So the developers are back from their holiday break and that means we have a brand new status report and a lot of new stuff to talk about here with upcoming updates for Daisy Standalone. If you don't know what these videos are or what the status reports are, uh, basically the devs do status reports weekly and cover what's coming up for Daisy Standalone in terms of updates and new features coming into the game. So that's what we end up discussing here. Let's get into this week's status report and see what we have. So first, we're going to be starting off with private servers and hardcore mode changes. So private servers will be getting an expansion of uh, server options. These include admin logs covering connections and disconnections from the server, also chat and player's death. So I think, you know, if you are involved in private servers, uh, this will definitely uh, make the experience better because the admins will be able to see, you know, more of what's going on and catch those who break the rules or are cheating. On our next slide here we have a new scripting language, manual transmission for vehicles and a group identification system. So starting off with the new scripting language, they haven't said when this will be ready exactly, but when it is it will be used to rewrite currently used scripts, it will optimize and polish which will bring some server side performance boost which is always nice to see. Next we have the manual transmission, they said design for the manual transmission for vehicles is ready for review and its implementation will begin soon. Something I thought was interesting in this week's status report is that they said quote we are also making a prototype for non-intrusive group identification so that you can easily identify your companions. Now I would like more details about this I'm not sure how it's gonna work exactly from what they've said right there but one of the most challenging things about getting into firefights when you're in a group is identifying your teammates and making sure you don't have any friendly fire happening so I hope they don't make that too easy because uh, I think, you know, groups who, you know, do that pretty well and they can identify each other pretty well, they deserve to do better. So I'm not sure how this will work exactly, but I'm looking forward to getting more details on it and maybe even seeing it in some upcoming experimental updates. But I do hope this doesn't remove the challenging aspect of being in a firefight and being able to identify who your teammates are and who the enemies are. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below if you're a fan of this or not or how you think this will be implemented into the game. Our next slide here is all about new items and weapons coming into the game. Starting off with a quilted jacket which we talked about in a previous status report. It is now finished along with a new batch of zombie templates. We also have an M65 field jacket being worked on. I grabbed a picture of that so you can kind of see how that should look like when it is in game. Moving down we can see that they are working on a new school building. With this they are working on new desks, chairs, bells and gym equipment. So that's going to be very cool to see. Hopefully uh, from the sound of things it will be much bigger than what we currently call the school building. Moving down we have a new pump action. 22 long rifle based on the FN trombone which you, you can see they released a picture of that on the side there one of the devs posted that on Twitter uh, also they did want to update us on the Winchester model 70 which is now complete there are also two other weapons which are currently a work in progress but they haven't said which weapons those are hopefully we get some more info on that in the next status report let's move on to our last slide where we discuss the art animation design and programming being worked on this week you get the list of it right there which you can pause the video and read if you'd like to but you can see some of the stuff that we talked about uh, the m65 field jacket under the art also along with the fn trombone and some other things there that we didn't talk about like animations with you know hand poses and stuff like that some pretty interesting stuff on there but i do want to take this time to thank you all for watching another status report video i'm glad we're doing these once again and i am glad to be bringing you some more uh, new info about daisy standalone hopefully you enjoyed this one if you did be sure to hit that like and if you are new you can subscribe for more daisy standalone content and videos like this one thank you for tuning in and we'll see you all next time.